Crazy Believer Gang, it's your girl Brie, and I'm back here with another video. I know, I know, I know. I know you guys are like over me, and I've been gone for so long, literally like three and a half months, but guys, there is a valid, valid reason. And <laughs> I have made a conscious decision to be super consistent now on YouTube more than ever. Like now, think everything has calmed down with all the chaos with my, my move, uh, my new job, and everything. Like I have now focused on the necessity. And necessity is dropping awesome content for you guys here on YouTube. I've missed you guys so much, okay? Y'all not only DM me, a Facebook me, yes, Facebook me, like who use Facebook? Um, uh, write me on Snapchat about me coming back and doing girl chats or doing story times. So you guys love my story times and things of that sort. But I just been so wrapped up in life itself that I really haven't had time to sit down and record. So I have made it a point that every Saturday is gonna be my content day. I'm gonna try to create all this different content for you guys and drop more than one video a week now moving forward. So hope and pray that that all goes well. So before we get into this video, I do wanna say welcome back my Diva Libra gang. I'm super excited again to be here. Thank you guys for your continuous support and love here on my channel. Um, time has gone from us like since the last time I've been on YouTube, but you guys are consistent with your reaching out and you know and hitting me up and letting me know that you miss me. So I am so excited to be back. I do also want to take the time out to dun, 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 shout out my amazing editor, Charlotte. Let me just let me just insert a picture of her right here. Boom. Baby. Okay, she is not only like everything in a bag of chips with a side of pickles, okay? She is just everything. Like, I don't know nothing about editing, y'all. I mean, I've had videos on my YouTube that you guys like and I try to edit, but with work and stuff, I can't. And I, I just, I can't do it. I don't want it. I don't got time for it. I'm tired, okay? So I just want to shout out her because... She honestly is the reason why I'm back on YouTube because honestly, people don't understand that sometimes when you're doing a lot of things by yourself, it's okay to ask for help. You know, I have so much going on and I just felt like it became overwhelming and I loved YouTube. I didn't want it to seem like something that was a burden to me. I love recording for you guys. I love telling you and sharing you my life experiences or my life stories, you know? So I'm super excited, excited, excited to be back. As you see down below what this video is about to be. So let's just get into it. y'all so as you see down below in the title i am doing a story time about my best friend luke's birthday now luke is one of my best friends that i barely talk about because me and luke really don't get to see each other like that but when we do see each other it's like the biggest commotion ever right but i normally talk about bianca on my youtube because i did a birthday vlog for her and i talk about lex a lot but i don't really talk about luke like that so let me insert a photo of him okay so we could get the luke appreciation okay tall, dark, big beard, Trinidadian, allowed, okay, <laughs> I just wanted to shout him out real quick, that picture was actually taken on his actual birthday, so we're gonna talk about it because some things happen, of course, his birthday, is liquor, there's hookah, and y'all know how I feel about hookah, okay, so we go to Luke's birthday, well, first of all, let me just put this out there, I told Luke that I was not coming to his birthday, why, because I just, I like surprises, let me just, if you ever want to get to my heart, men, because I'm still single, um, <laughs> if there's any key to Brianna Lawrence's heart is surprises. I love being surprised and I love surprising people. So actually, Luke hit me up and told me that he wanted to do something big for his birthday. Um, and he found like a lounge that he wanted to go to and invited like a whole bunch of people, want to get bottles, smoke hookah, do our thing, right? within the week, Luke is texting me like, yo, Brianna, are you going to come? I'm like, yeah, Luke, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. Right. And I just felt like I needed to surprise him. So why not tell him I'm not coming? Hello. It's your best friend. Your best friend's supposed to be there. 
If any of y'all have uh, best friends that don't come to y'all birthdays, shoot them in the forehead because, hello, like they're supposed to be there for that the biggest moment. It's your birthday, right? So I wanted him to feel like garbage because I wanted him to be excited when he actually saw me. So I called him like two days before his event, right? Mind you, he has his book plan ready to go. I told him, I said, Luke, I'm not coming. He said, what? <laughs> I said, Luke, don't, no, actually, I was like, Luke, I was like, I texted him, I was like, Luke, don't hate me. He was like, what, you not coming? And right there, I know that his heart sunk to his stomach. Like, I know he was very upset, but I was like, ooh, it's gonna feel so good when he finally sees me, right? But little do you know, I had something in store when I got there, but we don't get to that. So when I texted him, I was like, yeah, I'm not coming. He was like, oh, but if it was Lex, you would have been there though, right? <laughs> Let's take a minute to soak that in. I'm sorry, excuse me? If it was Lex, I would have been there. So having two guy best friends sometimes get into like a little jealousy match or whatever, not so much part on Lex. Well, actually Lex is low-key jealous too, but that was the first time I ever experienced Luke being that jealous. You know what I mean? Like, oh, if it was Lex, it would be there. But I had to make him feel like that because I wanted to surprise him. So I actually brought my one of my other friends, her name is Bree. I brought her with me to Queens uh, to go to this event, right? So I'm like, okay, Brie, you know, how funny that is. Like, one of your really good friends have your exact same name. And why none of y'all are telling me how fat and roly my neck is looking on this camera? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm just in my back. I need to lose weight. But let's let's get back to the story. So what happened? I get to Queens, right? And I actually was in the car, like one of my other friends dropped me off to Queens or whatever. And me and Bree was in a car and I saw, I was calling Luke's other friend named Lauren. So I was calling Lauren, I was like, yo, are you there yet? Has Luke arrived? Like I wanted Luke to be in there before, you know, how to make a grand entrance, hello. So I was like, uh, is he there? Lauren's too busy trying to find parking. So he's not even inside. And I don't know any of these other people that's coming for Luke. Again, I met Luke through my ex, right? And... Being that Luke is from Brooklyn, the people that Luke know, I don't know. And the people that I know, Luke don't know. So we really, the only friend that me and Luke have in common is my ex. So I, I, I'm not going to call, I, I don't talk to my ex. You know what I'm saying? So the only other person that I knew was Lawrence and Lawrence didn't know. Why am I in the car trying to get myself together and Luke's car pull up in front of the car that I'm in? When I tell y'all my heart hit my bottom, like I was like, oh my God, he's not supposed to know that I'm here. So literally like I like rolled up into a little ball into the corner and threw a jacket over me and waited until he got out the car. He don't know my other friend Bree, so she could have been anybody. And he, you know, walked in and did his thing. So once we realized that he walked in and did his thing, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go inside and surprise him. So I walk in and he's there, you know, low-key blind, looking, seeing who's coming through. And I'm like, hi, surprise, I'm here. Ah, he's like, I hate you, but I love you. I'm excited. Ugh. He was excited that we were there, right? So we're there. We're getting money. Luke is having the time of his life. Well, first, there was a little mix-up with the bottle situation. Y'all, <laughs> this, this is not my business. My name is Bennett and I ain't in it, but... My name is Paul, so I'm going to tell y'all. First of all, if y'all have a, like a birthday situation, please. I hate going out with groups of people and like they want to be stingy. You know what I mean? Like say we all go to a dinner table well, and the bill comes out like mad money. Well, I had a salad and a glass of water. Like I'm the type of chick if I go out on a on like a group date, a group like dinner or whatever, um, we splitting the check evenly. Like there's six of us split six ways. Boom. You know? Or whatever. Like... I hate when people are nitpicky like that. So that's one of the the, the the teas that happened at Luke's birthday party. People were like there to drink, but didn't have no money for bottles. <laughs> I came in in the clutch as the best friend that I am, but it's just like, damn, like I, I hate being around people who just want to be there for the hype and not there solely for the person. You knew you were coming out to a lounge, a hookah lounge at that, or a bar or whatever, and you come with no money? You come outside with no money or no nothing. 
by all means, do you, right? So the bottle situation got handled. And instead of like me worrying about that, I'm just worrying about getting my hookah and living my life. So finally, the hookah girl comes. We're there doing our hookah. Um, Luke is really like lit and having fun. And I love seeing other people enjoy life. Like that brings like happiness. I'm sorry, y'all. My neck. <laughs> like, let me speak like this for the rest of the video. That, no. <laughs> that, um brings me happiness when other people are um happy so seeing him in his element meeting all his friends so now people are arriving now right so so many people so many people so many people coming in and out his female friends his his dudes like his musician friends so his luke is a musician we're there having the time of our life right <laughs> having the time of our life having fun okay minding my business okay Smoking the hookah, okay? In walks in. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not paying it no mind because I'm in the corner. Mm, mm. Get money like I normally am. Y'all know that's what I do. I stand in the corner. One of my Instagram snapping, I do one thing when I go out, okay? So I'm there in the corner getting my life. In walks in my ex. why sorry y'all my light just blew so <laughs> faulty this house is faulty <laughs> because everything is broken <laughs> <sighs> so thank god for the ring light because clearly i would be in pitch black darkness but anyways um yeah in walks in captain saver whatever so i'm there minding my business like i normally do right smoking a hookah enjoying my friend Bree, is that who I think it is? And I'm like, who? Like, you know, like, minding my business. And when I look and he turned around, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, no. Again, another situation. I see you see me. We see each other. Mind you, okay, I know <laughs> I, I really don't have that many exes, y'all. So... This ex, I was with him for a very long time. So a lot of stuff for some reason that everything that every time something happens, it's him. Like, I, I, I don't know. But again, we have been cool as far as like, he does his thing. I do my thing. I'm never in Queens. He's never in Yonkers. So there's no need for us to really see each other. So then again, I was like, I cannot be my feelings in the soul moment because I met Luke through him. So I can't be upset. But you know, it's awkward. Like, I haven't seen him in forever. The last time I saw him was when I saw him at that party and he tried to act like he didn't know who I was. Remember that? That was like two years ago or last year. So I haven't seen him since then. You know, so I'm just like, okay, whatever you know what, Brianna. Be mature. Be the bigger person. Okay, who cares he's here? I'm having a good time, right? Having a good time. You know, I see him see me. He see me see him. Whatever. Um, And I'm just like, you know what? I can't with the awkwardness. Like, you could tell... Everybody, I guess because everybody in there knew who both him and I are, it was just awkward. So I called him over. I'm like, yo, you know, <laughs> back into him, he comes over. I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, how are you? You know, what's going on with you? He said, he's good. Everything's great. I was like, where's your shorty? Right? And then he goes, what is that supposed to mean? I'm like, where's your shorty? Because you guys are like, this is Jamaican term. That's that my mom says all the time and is butty and bench. Okay? You, meaning, Amer let, Americans, let's break it down. It means booty and chair, right? So when someone sits down, they sit down in a chair, which means a person can't sit down unless they're sitting down on something. You need one with the other. So when two people are always together and doing things together, we say butty and bench. Okay? So I'm like, you guys are basically butty and bench. Like, you see you, you see her. <laughs> he was just like, first of all, okay, or whatever that means, but um, yeah, she should be on her way or whatever, like, you know, whatever. Try to downplay the fact that his shorty was coming. Like, I knew she was going to be there because you're there. Y'all always together, so yeah. I just wanted to be clear that her being there was never an issue. Like, him being there was never an issue. I was solely, the, the sole purpose of me being present was for Luke's birthday, okay? So, you know, again, whatever. The, the spot that we were at had like an outside part and an inside part because, duh, COVID is still a thing. And I say this like this because a lot of people are still not vaccinated and a lot of people don't wear their masks. But 
when we go out to social places, we have to follow the rules, right? So apparently in Queens, certain things you can't go into unless you're fully vaccinated. But they realize that a lot of people are choosing not to be vaccinated. So they have outside events and indoor events but it's still the same strip so i think the club kind of split the club in half in a way where half of the club is inside and half of the club is outside kid you not both sides are lit you know and kid you not i could have been in both sides but majority of luke's friends were not vaccinated so unfortunately we had to be on the outside so we're outside right having a good time doing what we got to do I now, my, my friend Bree is realizing that she sees my ex walking back and forth in and out of the thing. So I'm like, okay, his shorty has to be here if he's walking back and forth. One minute he's in here, one minute he's outside. One minute he's in here, one minute he's outside. Cut to, I go inside to use the bathroom and I see shorty, okay? I ain't got no beef. So, hello, hello is the word. You know, hey, what's up, how you doing? This is what I have learned my lesson, y'all. Like, Sometimes things have to happen to you for you to really understand like what time it is. Like the disgusting look that this woman gave me. <laughs> like it's like she was just like, and you're speaking to me, why? By all means, sis, feel how you feel. But if you don't know who I am, I'm super sociable or sociable or whatever the word is. I'm My personality is very big and loud. So when I see people, I'll be like, hey, what's up? I'm not that type of... You know what I'm saying? Person. And I felt because like things was cool from the last time I saw them, it shouldn't be awkward now. But no one wants to be in the same space as their exes, which is understandable. But if we're all grown and we're in a situation where we feel like we could do better and be better, then why not do that and be that? Like, who cares? I learned my lesson after that situation. And I made it very clear to Luke that I would not be present at anything else if he invites my ex there. Like, I won't come because... It's just to, you know, solve, I guess, the uncomfortability. So I said to, I said hi to my ex of Shorty and her best friend because I know them. Mind you, I knew them while I was dating my ex. She was my ex's best friend when I was dating him. Girl, bye. I'm confused with the confusion. Like, what? But this is a disclaimer. She did say hello to me. Let me not, like, drag it. She did say hello. But you can tell, like, she didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? And she shouldn't have to. Because I feel like she probably felt like, damn, like, maybe she didn't know I was there. So maybe her reaction. I, you know, I always try to think of the good of people before I, like, start reacting. You know, maybe she didn't know I was there. Maybe she was caught off guard. Who knows? I know that my sole purpose, again, was there to be for Luke. So, me and then I saw that she was there, I went back outside and sat in my corner. To the point where Luke even noticed. He was like, yo, what's up with you? Why are you over here in the corner by yourself? I'm like, Luke, I'm good. I'm lit. I actually made it seem like I was lit, so he thought that I was drunk. You know what I'm saying? But, again, I did that solely because it's not about me. My feelings don't matter because today, that day was actually Luke's birthday. It wasn't like his birthday was earlier in the week and we were celebrating. No, it was his birthday that day. And I just felt like it's about him. My feelings don't matter right now. Later down in the week or week after next, we'll talk about it. But right now, it's about him, right? So I'm like, no, Luke, I'm good. Uh, whatever I said for him to walk away. Now my friend Bree, dancing, having a good time. She goes, girl, I gotta use the bathroom. So I get up now, like, oh, I don't wanna go back inside because I, you know, like I know she's there. Like the table's like right there at the door. So I'm like, I don't wanna go back inside, but whatever. We're girls, we don't go to the bathroom alone. So I was like, okay. So I'm getting up now to go to the bathroom. We're going, we're going out. And my ex is shorty, her best friend, and the people that they were with, they now come outside. Right? So now they come outside or whatever. So we kind of like bumped into each other. Because the space to go in and out of the club is super narrow. So you kind of got to stop to let people pass. And then you could go. Right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. Move out the way. We're there. And we're going back outside now. My short, my ex's shorty's best friend goes, oh, it's too hot out here. Uh-uh. It's too hot and nasty. But the way that she said it, I thought that she was about to faint as if like, it was too hot. Because again, like I said, we were outside, so there was a lot of heaters and stuff out there so we could keep warm being outside. So I offered, I'm like, oh, do you need to sit down? Because she looked like she was about to pass out. She was like, no, no, we're going back inside. So they, again, move, rush past us. I go to the bathroom and come back. Lawrence, y'all remember Lawrence, the guy that was outside trying to find parking? Lawrence finally gets inside or whatever the case may be. And he was sitting there when that whole situation happened. 
but he heard what I didn't hear. And this is the tea, which is not really tea, but it's tea. I was like, I came back and sat down, you know, and I'm like, okay, it's one o'clock again. And the lit thing about this too, that's, it was daylight savings time that day. So my plan was to leave Queens at 2 a.m. Because I was like, okay, the next, what was the next day? I had church the next day or what? I don't know. Something was going on the next day. I think, yeah, I think it was like a Saturday to Sunday. And I just wanted to get home. Because again, I live in Yonkers. And to drive all the way back down is a lot. So I was like, I'm going to leave at 2. But we actually saw the time change. I was like, oh, it's 1 o'clock again. So we didn't leave it until 2. So we stayed for a whole extra hour. So now I come back down now and sit. And Lawrence is like, yo, did you hear what he what he said? I'm like, hear what who said? What are you talking about? He was like, homeboy in the black. Like, that wasn't your ex? I was like, yeah, but what did he say? Like, Because I'm so focused on the girl trying to sit down because she um about to faint. Lauren's going to say that um somebody said something and then my ex turned to the person like, oh, no, 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 don't worry about her. She ain't nobody. That's just my ex. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just looking for who the hell he thought he was talking about. Excuse me? Excuse me? In that moment, y'all, I took my happy ass out and I went home. Because I realized if I stayed, <laughs> I laughed to calm down. Because I would have embarrassed him. I would have been back. Like, you you know how there's this thing with Kevin Hart where he talked about how women get from frantic to calm real quick. Oh, my God. But I'm going to tell you one more time. That's who I am. Like, I, I was so shocked. I started laughing. But then I'm like, that eyebrow goes up. And I'm just like, sir? Okay. I left. <laughs> because I was like, if I stay and respond... This is the reason why things happen because of unnecessary comments like that. Who the hell cares that I'm your ex? Nobody. So there was no need for you to say that. Like what 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 purpose or what what did that make you feel better for you to get that off your chest? Like who cared? Nobody cares. Jesus. <clears throat> Stuff like that caused unnecessary drama. Now, what if I was one of those like rah rah chicks like ready to fight like or something like and went in there and just slapped his shorty just because he said that like then i would be wrong you know like oh my god i went home and honestly i don't even know how luke got home or whatever happened to luke because i was so pissed and lit i was like brianna like talking to myself like calming myself down like brianna you're lit you are lit go home so i, I went home y'all I, I didn't, I went home. And like a couple of days later, I called Luke and told him what happened. Luke was like, what? When did that happen? Mind you, Luke had been left his own birthday party. Okay? When all that was going on, I was getting money and having a good time. Luke already went home. So he wasn't even there. It was so many people that I didn't even notice that he had left. So, y'all, I'm over it. <laughs> like, that is like the lesson to you where being mature... <laughs> sometimes just means don't say nothing at all and i learned my lesson you know what i mean like i was trying to be cool and nonchalant because i hate confrontation honestly i mean i'll handle it if i need to handle it but i hate it like if it's unnecessary then it's unnecessary if there's no need there's no need you know so i was trying to be like cool and calm and collective but no people want to be dumb let them be dumb like i'm just i'm just over it but all in all, y'all, Luke's birthday party was a very good time, or Luke's birthday event was a great time, and I had a really good time. So that's definitely the story time that I had to tell you guys. Um, I'm, again, again, super excited to be back here on YouTube. Definitely go in the comment section and let me know, like, what you guys want me to do as far as, like, I really want to do a mukbang with my friend Bree that I spoke about in this video and my best friends and stuff. I do want to record more vlogs. Like, what you guys want to see me doing? Like, shopping, makeup. I can now, now that I moved and live, and live in my new home, I can buy my vanity and start doing more makeup videos. So definitely comment down below in the box and let me know what you guys want me to do here on my YouTube channel. Again, my content is for your guys' entertainment. My content, your entertainment. That should be my new, my new thing. My content, your entertainment. Hello, hello, hello. Y'all, whoa. Hello. All right. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. And I will definitely see you guys in next week's video. I got to be back. 
I gotta come back consistent and more precise. So y'all gonna get tired of me posting, but make sure you also do what? Subscribe to my channel. Subscribing to my channel is free, y'all. All you gotta do is press the button. Don't be petty. You come to watch my video. Might as well subscribe to my channel. You don't even have to put on your post notifications to see when I post. You will randomly look when you're ready to look. But if you subscribe to my channel, it'll flare up on its own. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you next week in my next video. Peace.